Tell me what's going on in here today, sir. Uh, today we're here at Pachini's office uh, asking them to repeal Bill 124. It's a 1% wage increase that they're only allowing for the healthcare workers. Uh, with the inflation rate being the way it is, we're actually taking a percentage of a decrease every year. Um, the 1% increase also includes any extra medical we may give. It's not just our wages. So if we get extra benefits, that's part of that 1%. So we might only end up with 0.50% uh, in a wage increase. Tell me how you guys feel. Tell me, put it this way, first of all, sorry about this. Tell me how many people you represent at, at the, the hospital. I, I represent 315 uh, members. Um, 125 of them are RPNs, and then the rest are clerical, housekeeping, um, kitchen staff, stores, receiving, shipping. Um, it impacts us because right now we're just barely making ends meet to begin with. So and we're, I will tell you right now, North Humboldt Hills is probably 95% female based. Even up to our management staff is, is female. We only have one male manager in the whole building. Um, it impacts us every day. Like we're going in there, we're doing eight hours. We're supposed to be in for an eight hour shift. We end up doing 12, 16, sometimes 20 hour shifts because we're so short staffed because everyone is burning out and walking away. They're walking away from the healthcare field right now. I know in one week we lost 11 staff. They just said, I can't do this no more, we're gone. 11 staff is not acceptable when there's only 315 of us. It may not sound like it impacts us, but it does on a daily basis. We're constantly running short. Our kitchen staff is short. Our housekeeping staff is short. Our nurses are extremely short. And for us, we're feeling like overwhelmed and feeling guilty because we can't give the patient care that we so want to because we are so short staffed. We're so short staffed because the government's saying 1% increase. Well, that's not bringing any new blood into the hospital zones. It's, they're going, we had one girl leave because she was gonna get more money at a factory, at a factory. So what are we supposed to do? Like with a 1% increase, people are, are leaving the hospital in droves. Who's taking care of these patients? We're all gonna burn out eventually. There's not gonna be not very many of us left soon. What's the answer? I think they need to let us bargain in good faith. It's not just about the money. If they let us bargain in good faith, that will bring in more uh, staff into the hospital because they will realize that we're not restricted. We're not being choked off by the government. And then we can get nursing back into school, have some incentive programs to get RPNs into school, to get their kitchen staff has to be certified, get them into school, get people into these classes, these courses, to get our staff back up to where it needs to be. Is it scary times in NHH just for that reason? It's very scary times at NHH. I, I will tell you right now, I don't think there's not, I don't think there's any one of us that doesn't hit that front door and go, take that deep breath and go, should we just turn around and go home? Because what is our day going to be today? We're not sure. We are not sure what's going to happen. Is a lot of this revolving around COVID? Like, is that? It, it's been years coming. Like, we've always been short staffed. There's always been a lack of nursing staff. COVID, I think, was just the last button that got pushed. That just anybody who was on the fence prior to this, COVID just pushed them. What are you hoping today does? I'm hoping today that they repeal 124 and that they actually sit down and negotiate. Like, we did not expect we're here, we're always going to be here. So let's talk. We need for, to talk. For those like me, and I'm honest about this though, yeah. describe Bill 124. What is it? Bill 124 is a restriction on all healthcare workers. They're only allowed, to, we're only allowed to make a 1% increase per year for our three year collective agreement. So over three years, we're ended up with 1%, 1%, 1%. Whereas inflation has gone up by 5.2, 5.7, and who knows what it's gonna go up by next year. How much are we actually losing? Have they said why? They say they're trying to cut costs. It's to save the budget. And I'm sure everybody understands that to a point. Yes. 
Like we, we get it. We know that they have to have a budget. We understand that. But it seems like every year it's the healthcare workers who are taking that hit for that cut. So we're not exactly thrilled about having to do it again. Our last contract, we were at like 2, 2.5. Like we were, we've always been below what our inflation rate is. So I guess solidarity here today, if anything, it shows that you guys are united. We are, we are. This, this is going around across Ontario. Um, we were in Peterborough this morning. We're now here. Uh, they having rallies up in Sudbury and Hamilton, uh, Pickering and Ajax and Oshawa. So we're not going away. We're not stopping. We're going to push forward. We need to push forward. Last question. This will be general and forgive me for this, but tell me, uh, how is COVID in the hospital? Like, that's one thing the public always asks is, how are you guys doing with COVID? Like, is is it running rampant? Is it, you know? No, we have, our COVID cases are under control. Our infection control is, is trying very hard to keep it that way. Our nursing staff has been amazing throughout this, even with them running the, like the extra shifts that have been, they're following the proper protocols, they're following the proper PPE. They're keeping things contained. But we're so tired that we're always afraid that, you know, there's going to be that one day we're going to walk in there and we're just so exhausted, we're going to forget the protocol and then it's going to spread again. So it's always in the back of our minds. So, and we, we, we're working as a very well-oiled team right now because we are so short staffed. But we wonder how long we can do that if we keep losing staff.